Useless, useless, useless! All these raccoons are useless! You should be ashamed of bringing these filthy creatures to me! If we want to complete our ritual with success, you must bring me a raccoon in perfect health, no less! I believe I have what you're looking for. Hmm? I've spotted the raccoon in the stormy skyline. He lives with a brainless garbage collector and looks as though he's been pampered his entire life. That raccoon will be perfect for our ritual. If you're willing to kidnap him, that is. Hmm. Ready the battle drill and set course to the stormy skyline! This raccoon is ours! Greetings, everyone. My name is Adderville, and welcome to my Let's Try of the demo of Garbage Girl Louise, a 2D action platformer in development by Super Squidoodle. I'm going to be playing this on modern mode. Let the adventure begin. Ah, uh, some moldy blue cheese. In every one of these stages, I'm on the lookout for three raccoons who've been kidnapped by the Mole King. Here's the first of many. Nice. Oh, it's a power-up. This is Magical Luis. Always check up here. I knew they'd place a raccoon there. Yep, I have momentum physics. Ow. At least I don't instantly die if I fall into a bombless pit. But I can only take up the tree hits before perishing. Similar to another really popular franchise. We gotta save Rocky from the Mole King. Level complete. Now we're indoors in a sewer system, I believe. The first level started out easy enough, but then at the end we had to wall jump over bombless pits. Wait a sec. Ah, 
I see the raccoon there. Let's go. In the final game, saving all the raccoons will give you a reward. Um, will he come back, train? Well, you did. Just as I fell into the pit. Thanks for trolling me there. And by the way, Pixel Boy, I'm joking. And I just realized something. Why was there a bunch of crystals down there? If this is supposed to be the intended pad upwards, obviously that means there's a raccoon there. Ah. See? This is more along the lines of the aforementioned franchise rather than Sonic. Oh, I like the animations. Look at the animation when she ducks. Oh, missed. Ah, <laughs> uh, the subways are trolling me. So yes, momentum is really important here. I can barely change direction in midair. Yeah, momentum is more along the lines of Sonic than the other franchise. I don't recall it being that difficult to gain momentum in that series. Nope, they're not spike tops. I must have kept hitting them on the side. Come on, let me up! This is suddenly become much harder. I kind of wish I had more training on her inertia. We're out of here. Ah, this was the last stage. I guess that explains why there was a difficulty spike at the end. Regardless, What's been shown here is pretty promising, and charming, and it's deceptively difficult. Oh sure, in the first stage, the momentum platforming isn't too challenging, but you really need to get a handle on it for the second half of 1-2, as trying to change direction in midair is really difficult here, especially when you're already moving. It's more along the lines of classic Sonic in that way. Otherwise, controls and physics felt on point, and it was suitably challenging. And as for the raccoons, they offer a nice bit of optional difficulty. I foresee a few of them being placed in rather devious locations. I like this so much that I wish there was a 1-3, and perhaps a boss battle. Oh well, I'll be looking forward to Sage 2023's version. In any case, good job developers. I wish the best of luck to you. Well then, thanks for watching, 
and have a nice day.